Welcome back. I'm Teresa Harding, and I want to know how many times have you looked in the mirror and whispered, if only, if only they hadn't said that, if only I had that opportunity, if only life had been kinder. Today, I'm here to challenge that narrative. Today's message is simple yet profound. You are stopping you. We've all been there, pointing fingers, blaming our past, our circumstances, or those who wronged us. It's human nature to look outside for the reasons why we aren't what we want to be. It's comforting. It's safe. And you want to know what? There's a lot of truth to some of it. And there are hard things that have happened to us, hard things that have been done to us, even horrible things. And it's comforting. It's actually kind of safe to look outside of ourselves for what's causing the problem. But let me tell you, it's also paralyzing you. Every time you externalize the blame, every time you hand over the reins of your life to another person or situation, you surrender your power. And in doing so, you cage yourself, placing limits on your infinite potential. Every time you place the fault at someone else's feet or some circumstance's feet, you are acknowledging to yourself that you can't do it, that there's nothing you can do about it, and nothing could be further from the truth. What if I told you there's another way, a way that instead of imprisoning you, sets you free? Here's the catch. It starts with you. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. The same goes for your dreams, your aspirations, and your potential. No one can steal them. No one else can diminish them. No circumstance or person can crush them without your permission. It's a bitter pill to swallow. It is painful accepting that you might be the very obstacle you need to overcome. But therein lies the beauty. Because the moment you take accountability, the moment you reclaim ownership of your journey, the moment you take back authorship is the moment you become unstoppable. When you stop waiting for someone else to change, for circumstances to shift, for the world to hand you what you think you deserve, you realize something very profound. You hold the power. You are the captain of your destiny, the master of your fate. So the next time you feel that pang of, if only, I challenge you to turn inwards to confront the barriers that you have erected, the self-imposed limits you've accepted. It is time to break them down, brick by brick. And I want you to witness the landscape of endless possibilities that lie beyond that wall. You are not just a passive participant in this grand adventure that we call life. You are the hero, the lead actor, and you may be in the part of your story where you haven't figured it out yet, and that's okay. You are the writer of your own script, and the pen, it's in your hand. So wield it with purpose, wield it like a weapon, because life is a challenge, and it's a battle, and you will win. You will win with purpose, with passion, and with unwavering belief in yourself. Remember, the only person truly stopping you is the reflection you see in your mirror. Embrace your power. Stop being afraid of it. Rise above self-doubt and soar to heights you once deemed unreachable because you can, you will, and you are more than capable. I love you you. I want you to succeed. I don't want you to just think different. I want you to be different.